Hi, this is Manos Brilakis and Peter Taiti from the Minneapolis Heart Institute presenting case 7 for the Manual of Non-CTO Coronary Interventions. This is a case highlighting use of the wiggle wire to deliver equipment through a challenging case. The patient was an elderly man who presented with angina and was found to have lateral ischemia on the stress testing. He had undergone previous coronary bypass graft surgery with his grafts and had multiple comorbidities. Diagnostic and geography demonstrated occlusion of the proximal LAD. The circumflex was patent with the patent saphenous vein graft to the first obtuse marginal branch. There was also a patent lima supplying the left anterior descending artery and the vein graft to the right coronary artery was occluded. He did have an open native right coronary artery. However, there was a significant lesion at the origin of the right posterior lateral branch which appear to be the culprit for the patient's symptoms. We therefore decided to attempt intervening on that lesion. We did not actually expect it to be a challenging lesion, so we wired with a workhorse guide wire, a Samurai RC, but uh, unfortunately we were unable to deliver a balloon to that lesion due to tortuosity. It was almost 180 degree bend from the distal right coronary to the right posterior lateral. We therefore decided to increase our support by using a 6 French guideliner that was easily advanced all the way to the distal right coronary artery. With this enhanced support, we were then able to advance a balloon all the way to the lesion and we were relieved to see that the balloon expanded well, therefore the lesion was dilatable. However, despite using a very short and very deliverable synergy stand, we were unable to deliver it to that area of tortuosity. We tried several things, including using a body wire that didn't work. We tried to use a distal anchor by putting a small balloon and then trying to advance the stand over the second wire, but that also failed. So we were in an area of a conundrum, but then we thought about the wiggle wire, which is a unique wire because it has several bends in its body proximal to the distal tip. What those bends do is they can take the tip of the balloon or the stand away from the wall of the vessel, facilitating delivery through these very tortuous areas. And to our pleasant surprise, this is exactly what happened. We advanced the wiggle wire to the right posterior lateral branch. We used the microcatheter to advance it. And then to our pleasant surprise, having a body wire still in place, we were able to easily advance the same two to five by eight millimeters synergy stand all the way to the lesion where it was successfully deployed. A nice result was achieved and the patient's symptoms subsequently resolved. This case does provide several lessons. The first one is that we sometimes can underestimate the difficulty of a lesion. This appeared initially to be a simple straightforward intervention but turned out to be much more complicated than initially thought. And having tortuosity, especially in the presence of calcification, should alert us to the possibility that this lesion can be challenging. There are many techniques that can be used to overcome these difficulties. For example, using strong support, which was done in the case with his body wire, using a guide catheter extension and the distal anchor technique. We did predilate the lesion and we tried to use a very short, very deliverable stand. However, all the strategies failed. But then the wiggle wire was instrumental here to allow us to deliver through tortuosity, presumably by moving the tip of the balloon away from the vessel wall and enabling delivery all the way to the lesion. So the key lesson here is that one has to have different techniques to use in case of complexity, but also that one technique is often not enough and sequentially trying different strategies can finally lead to success. Thank you.